In this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate a Windows virtual machine running in VMware Fusion with GNS3 running on a Mac. In this example, I'm using GNS3 2.0.0 beta 3. And in addition, I'm using the GNS3 VM. So the first thing we wanna do is go onto the Windows machine and shut it down. So shut down your Windows 10 machine as an example so that we can make changes to the network adapters in VMware Fusion. Now before I configure VMware, in GNS3, I'm going to go to Preferences, VMware, Advanced Local Settings, and make sure that I have managed VMNet interfaces. Configure a few, such as two to seven. Click Configure. Put in your password to allow GNS3 to configure these virtual VMNet interfaces. Click OK. So the virtual machine is shut down. I'm going to go to the settings. And what I'm gonna do is add a new network adapter. Click show all and close the adapter settings down. Now that that's been done, we can go to our GNS3 preferences, click VMware VMs and click new to add a new virtual machine. Now in this release of GNS3, you can either run it on a remote computer or locally. I'm running the VMware VM locally on my Mac. So I'm gonna select that and click next. The virtual machine that I'm going to integrate is Windows 10. Click Finish. Click Edit. Go to Network. And allow GNS3 to use any configured network adapter. I'm gonna change the network adapters to two because in VMware Fusion, we now have two network adapters on that virtual machine. Click OK. So just to reiterate, under general settings, nothing was changed. Under network, adapters were set to two, and we are allowing GNS3 to use any configured VMware adapter. Click OK, click OK. Now under end devices, we have that Windows PC available. And what I'll do is bring a iOS V router into the topology. This was configured previously and is running on the GNS3 VM. I'll connect Ethernet 1, the second network adapter, to the router. So we have Ethernet 01, basically the second network adapter on the PC connected to the gigabit port on the router. I'll click Start to boot up the devices. GNS3 will start up the Windows VM automatically within VMware Fusion. And the Cisco router will boot up as well. I'll start up a console connection to the router. And as you can see here, the router is booting up. Back in Windows, I'll log in. And in our network adapters, you'll notice that we have Ethernet 0 on network 2 and Ethernet 1. It's currently identifying because this router is still booting up. So what I'll do here is configure the second network adapter, Ethernet 1, with an IP address of 10.1.1.2. Subnet mask, default gateway, and I'll configure Google as the DNS server. Click OK, click OK, click Close. Open up a CMD prompt. So ping 10.1.1.2. We can ping ourselves. Just have to wait for this router to boot up. iOS V routers take a while to boot up. Now we still have 
the other network adapter. So the first network adapter has got an address through DHCP. The second network adapter is the one that we configured. So the router has booted up now. Go to enable mode, do show IP interface brief. We're gonna configure the first gigabit interface. So IP address 10.1.1.1 with a mask, no shut it. Ping 10.1.1.1. We can ping ourselves and we can ping the Windows PC. The Windows PC can ping the router. Now note, if you can't ping from the router to the PC, make sure that your Windows firewall is turned off. So in this example, the PC can ping the router. The router can also ping the PC. I could do a debug IP ICMP on the router, get the PC to send some pings to the router, and you'll notice that the ICMP messages are displayed on the screen. So that's an example of how to integrate a Windows 10 VM running within VMware Fusion with GNS3 version 2.0 and the GNS3 VM. If you don't want the additional adapter, you could simply disable this adapter within Windows. And now the PC is only available to GNS3. It can no longer ping the internet as an example. So going back, if I try and ping google.com, that fails. If I enable this network though, that's connected to my local network, I can access google.com, but at the same time, ping the Cisco router in GNS3. I hope you enjoyed the video. If it was of benefit to you, please like it, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.